will it arise. Amen? Amen. 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's a beautiful spring morning. <laughs> Pray for next week. We want it at least 10, 15 degrees warmer for the 7 o'clock service. And we want to see you all there, so you better be praying for it. The announcements. Today is the last day, the final deadline to get your order in for Easter flowers. I just got one in my pocket from someone that uh, will be leaving, but uh, get them in if you want them. The, today is also the last day for donations for the Easter egg hunt candy for next week. Ladies Fellowship Night, Monday, April 1st at 6.30, Operation Christmas Child Service Projects. There's a sign up if you're gonna be bringing food. If you're just coming to enjoy the fellowship, you don't need to sign up, just show up. <coughs> Sight and sound, the deadline to sign up is April 7th, which is just a couple of weeks away. Still need 31 people to fill the bus. If they don't get 31 people, they have to cancel the bus. And that means everybody has to drive down by themselves to see it. Uh, let's see. Next Saturday, if you know of any teens that can help, they are going to be setting up for the Sunrise Cafe at 6 o'clock. Please let Pastor Matt know. I think that's all that I'm going to cover. Um, there is no divorce care this week. But just to let anybody here that goes know about it. Okay. Well, good morning, everybody. I have a couple more little announcements that I'd love to bring to your attention. Um, so first off, uh, our Sunrise Cafe, yes, it is happening. Uh, it's going to be next uh, Sunday at 8 a.m. It's going to be a great time. We have a lot of food that we're going to be making. It's going to be great food. I know it says cafe, but there's going to be a breakfast. So it is a breakfast style cafe. So. Please bring your friends, bring your families. It's gonna be a great time, full of fun. The students have been working hard, uh, trying to prep some of this stuff. They're gonna do a lot of work on Saturday night, uh, setting up the tables and the decorations, as well as setting up some of the food prep as well. So if you could please can be praying for that. Uh, we're gonna be having a kind of a little meeting uh, after service today to talk about the Sunrise Cafe. Uh, if you would like to help, or be involved in some way, whether you'd like to be involved on the Saturday night to see some of the students, get to know them a little bit, or if you'd like to help on Sunday. Uh, some of the big helps that we need is help cooking the food as well as the cleanup. Uh, those are kind of the two big areas that we need help the most. So if you feel like you would love to help out, uh, after service we'll just kind of hang out in here, just kind of talk about it for a few minutes. Uh, we'd love to have you involved in some way. Uh, not only that, uh, we have a roller skating event for our student ministry that's coming up tomorrow. Uh, so I know it's like not in your bulletin. We are actually partnering with a uh, Spanish church that's in Nazareth, and they're doing this great event, and they're bringing in various youth leaders and congregations and students uh, all to come in. And so we just kind of decided as a group last minute on a Wednesday night that we'd all like to go to it. So if you guys please can be praying for us, I think we're taking about six or seven students down. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. They get to meet some new families and new students as well as just connecting with one with each other in a just a relational mindset. So uh, with that being said, um, here at Bethel, we love uh, to worship through giving. So we do have three ways to give here at Bethel. We have our offering boxes in the back and the sides. We also have our online giving. Uh, if you have to take a look at our website, we'd love for you to do that, as well as our physical address if you'd like to mail anything in. I'd love to take the time just to pray for the offering, uh, just to thank God uh, for the incredible opportunities that we have as a family and a community to serve both in here and outside. Let's pray. 
Father, thank you so much for this incredible time that we get to be here as a family and a community. And Father, we just want to celebrate uh, that every week that we can have our doors open each Sunday and just get to relationally love everyone and care for each other, pray for each other, and just see how you're at work. And Father, I pray that um, all these funds that come in, that Father, your hand is on, that we can see where you'd like us to go. And we just want to thank you so much for everything that you continue to do in our lives each and every day. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. With that being said, let's all stand so we read our call to worship together. Today we're going to read from Psalm chapter 118, verses 26 through 27a. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has made his light to shine upon us. Thank you. 
Father, we thank you that we can gather on this Palm Sunday morning. We know that if we had been there, we'd be gathered up with the crowd and get caught up in all the spectacle. But would we be praying, change my heart, O oh God? Would we know that it's not about just getting caught up in a moment? It's about you coming in and changing our hearts. I pray that we would think about that throughout this week as we prepare for Resurrection Sunday, that just the joy of this season, that it would be for all the right reasons, because we know you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Please be seated. Go ahead and show that uh, slideshow. This was the ladies' uh, meeting and the things that they made. Um, just want to show you the pictures and just cover a few things and have a, a word of prayer for some of the things coming up um, for next, this week and, and, and Easter Sunday. Um, just praise the Lord. There's a lot of small group things happening around and people are being blessed and ministered to. And we just want to keep you aware of those things. Um, also, just let you know, we've been told the scaffolding will, will be down by the end of this week, so we don't have to worry about the Easter egg hunt, uh, the kids getting underneath the scaffolding and so forth. So uh, we're thankful for that. Ed is on vacation, and he worked very hard to get everything done, and his, his guy is going to help finish up the job this week and get that down. So we've been thankful for that progress and the things that have been done. It, it really was a fix that needed to happen, and we're glad that it finally did happen. Um, uh, we mentioned about the Easter egg cat hunt in the cafe. And one of the things that's coming up, and if you can help with this in any way, we get, we're just starting the planning. We decided we're not gonna have a, a, a concert in the park like we've had the last couple of summers. Just the fear, to me, it always bothers me. Any threat of rain, it just dampens <laughs> the, the ability for people to come. So, but we've got the idea, there's this wonderful tent set up during Palmer Day, so on that Sunday not being used. So we asked the township, they've given us permission to move our service that Sunday morning, the week of Palmer Days. We'll meet at the park underneath their wonderful tent. So we've got a lot of things to plan for that, and uh, just looking forward to that opportunity just to be in the community and being a part of that. So other things, if you have any ideas of things we can do to make a difference in this community, let us know. Let me pray for uh, our services coming up and, and this week. Father, I thank you. I do thank you for the ladies' time that they had, and I ask that you would continue to bless the ladies as they go forward with their the next uh, planned meeting where they're going to be working for things for Operation Christmas Child. I thank you for our divorce care and, and our uh, uh, grief share and the, these ministries where we're trying to encourage people in, in the midst of difficulties. I, I pray to you for the Bible studies and the, the, the ladies' Bible study and the men's uh, breakfast and Bible study. Help us to be better at what we're doing and find the best times and ways to do that so more, more and more people can be a part of that. Lord, I pray right now as we uh, are in Holy Week, whatever that means to people, we pray that we would give you the attention, not just kind of bounce through a week and say, oh, let's get excited on Easter Sunday, but realize all the things that happened, Jesus, in your life in these uh, days before the cross. I pray that you would bless us to know you. I pray for the Easter sunrise service for Fellowship Baptist Church, which will be joining with us in that uh, small church, but they're, they're just uh, with us all the time. Pray for all the neighbors that will come from uh, the surrounding area. And we do pray that the weather would be a little bit uh, warmer and we would be able to enjoy that time. And then for the cafe, just invite people to come for a, a, a bite to eat on Easter Sunday morning. And, and then after the service, uh, the uh, opportunity for children to participate in the Easter egg hunt. Lord, we, we do these things not to just be busy. We do them with the hopes that we can connect with people and, and invite them to be part of our church community. And not just so we can have numbers here, but so that we can have disciples, people that are learning to, to follow you more and more each day. Bless us as we continue to serve you and, and worship you as a church. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Hymn number 297. Let's stand as we sing. <laughs>
down for Kendall. 